style. Yeah. It was from awful. the very beginning. Yeah. He said, I'm going to sell people this lifestyle, and they have been paying mm-hmm. him for it for decades. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. But yeah, what, how does he actually live? Is he like a non drinking guy who lives, yeah. in, lives in New Jersey? He's or just something your, like that? yeah, he's your normal runabout guy who doesn't drink much. He's not into the, the beach lifestyle. He's yeah. just like, no, I, I sing music, and people buy my stuff, and I live well off of it. Yeah. Uh-huh. No, yeah. it makes sense. Uh, yeah. Smart. The guy is a smart businessman, I yeah. think. Yeah. Yeah. So Brian Schaefer. Oh, yeah. Back to our back topic. Back to our topic. Yeah. Yes. Like I said, he was also into Pearl Jam. He had a Pearl Jam tattoo on him. Pearl mm-hmm. Jam, I saw right? a picture yeah. of that. The yeah. stick man. Like the stick man or whatever. Yeah. Give him the peace sign or something like that. Or a big hug or something. He had a good relationship with his family, which was his mother, Renee, his father, Randy, and his younger brother, Derek. Unfortunately, Renee lost a long battle with a particularly bad type of cancer called... It's it's bone cancer. It's, it's way yeah. easier just to say bone it's, cancer. It's bone marrow cancer. Yeah. It's, it's myelo, not even... myelodysplastic syndrome. Yeah. So it's, a, it's a kind of something that's kind of similar to, uh, whatchamacallit, that's it. <laughs> yeah. I, well, I had the word yeah. balancing on the tip of my fulcrum of my brain. Yeah. yeah no, but mm-hmm. it's uh, yeah, it's like a bone marrow thing. It is. It, yeah. It, so it, basically, it inhibits the like the, the, the formation of, of blood cells of, of red blood cells. Red, I yeah. Think. yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And so it was a long, kind of painful battle for her. She she did unfortunately lose that battle in March of 2006. Her passing was hard on the whole family, um, but those close to Brian said that he was taking it. He at least outwardly was taking it really well, but they suspected that he was not taking it as well as eh, it know. seemed like yeah, he was that's taking understandable. it. understandable. Yeah. You know, I, I got to tell you that I haven't been through a couple of those long lingering illness things myself with yep. my parents. Yep. That by the time it's all over, um, you know, you've actually done a lot of your, all the grief is really kind of behind you already. Mm-hmm. You know, so yeah. you're kind of just ready to start living your life again. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. But also, you know, missing your parents. No, it mm-hmm. still yeah. sucks, but I yeah, mean, it's still, definitely. it's not a, it's not a real shock to the system. Like if they suddenly get killed in a wreck or yeah, something like that. It's not unexpected. Not yeah. at all. Yeah. And you've had your time to say goodbye and all that stuff. Oh so. yeah. At Ohio State University in 2006, spring break started on March 31st, a Friday that of year. Course. Every year, usually spring break starts on a Friday. Except uh, for that one year where it was really lame and it started on Wednesday. Yeah. I don't know, that'd be kind of nice. the worst spring break ever. I feel like that'd be kind of nice. But it'd have to go all the way to the next Friday. It'd be lame if it was literally just 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 two days. It was still a week, but it went from Wednesday to Tuesday. Oh, got it. Okay. Anyway, sorry. Back to our case. Um, It started on Friday, the March 31st, which of 2006. Which is April Fool's Eve. Which is April Fool's Eve, but also the same month that Renee, Brian's mom, had passed away. Right. Mm -hmm. I don't have a date necessarily for that it was i heard it was three weeks before this yeah particular so it was in the first week of yeah. the month is it yes. she passed right but i don't have like a exact specific hard date, yeah. date which is fine i think but recently brian had planned to go to florida miami specifically with his girlfriend alexis for the bulk of spring break where he was reportedly planning to propose to her are we going to talk about that part later on i assume what Florida? No, the the whole proposed plan to propose bit. Um, what about it? Well, so I see this everywhere, and it really sticks in my craw because she's the one who seems to say it. I, I mean, was a ring ever found in his stuff? Like I've no. never heard I don't, that. It, I don't believe his, it was. His no. brother's the one who brought it up first. Okay, but was a ring ever found? Among mm. his possessions is I, what I want to know. I have heard not that he did, had not bought a ring, which makes that me doesn't, think. Uh, I mean, I'll I'll just say yes. Okay, traditionally he would have a ring and blah blah blah, but I, I'm I mean, not yes, bothered he could go by to that. The bubble gum machine and get the plastic toy ring, but or it just no seems ring that if at all. Planning ahead, it should have been somewhere. Maybe, um, I yeah. Don't know. Maybe I he just, was a last minute kind of guy. But, or but, maybe yeah. he was going to do it without a ring, which is also fine because uh, from what I have heard or talked to a number of people I know. They say, I don't want to buy a ring because I know she's going to want to help pick it out. No, it's good. So point. he says, Okay, we'll go pick out a ring. I'm going to buy it for you. You'll have the perfect ring, and I don't trust myself. Blah, 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 whatever. So you get the placeholder. Yeah, or, you know, just know your fiance well enough or to Or maybe buy had it all planned out to wander into a jewelry store in Florida and then just like say, Oh, you like that ring? Okay, I'll buy it. And then yeah. you get on your knees and say, Oh, 
you marry me? And then she says no. Yeah. And then, and and then, then you say, great, I can return this. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, or you, you do don't it. even you, buy it yet. Yeah. That's, and you that's do it before you buy it. The ideal, yeah. yeah. And, and, but then that makes the rest of the vacation a little bit uncomfortable, of course. But at least you saved a lot of bucks by not buying the jewelry. Yeah. yeah. Well, so Life regardless of Joe. the ring. Um, oh, yeah. Sorry. We, we, we that's okay. I, I yeah. hear what you're saying. Um, but the first time I saw it, said was from his brother and it's my understanding that he had talked a little bit about it when he was out to dinner with his father on the 31st as well okay but yes i agree and also it was a little weird to me because they'd only been together for a year but you know 27 doesn't bother me it's it's the lack of the ring that bothers you okay sure yeah Yeah. Yeah. no evidence of the the actual intention to make it not the one bugs me the one bothers me at all i guess yeah i was gonna say either way it doesn't really matter because they'd planned to go to miami for a week together They were in a serious, committed relationship to each other. That's really all I guess we really need to know about it. Anyhow, Brian's father, Randy, came into town to visit and celebrate spring break with Brian. Is always how you will see it reported that they were there to celebrate spring break. I really think Randy was just thinking, you know what? My wife just died. Um, I really care about my son and I, you know, care about both of my children. Mm -hmm. And I just, you know, I want to see him. And this is a great excuse. And maybe yeah. he wanted to see how he was doing. Yeah. You know? See how he's doing, spend some quality time with him, knowing he was going to leave for a whole week, yeah. you know, just a couple weeks after his wife and, and Brian's mom had passed away, you know, yeah, it's, just it's kind a of, check. yeah, it's I a think it's a check. check. It's a check and also just a, you know, nice time mm-hmm. to see him. So they went out to dinner that night uh, or that evening, I guess, to a steakhouse. It's not really clear what time it was, but I do think it was like evening time, Mm -hmm. like, you know, five, six o'clock at night. Randy said that it seemed like Brian was tired. Eh, Finals will do that to you. Yeah. It sounded like he had been pulling a lot of all-nighters for exams that were coming up. I could never do that. Ah, it's not a great idea. You know. I was really good at the all-nighters. It was the staying, then staying up for the exam the next day. That was really yeah, hard for me. It's easy to stay up all night, yeah. but then actually being able to actually think coherently yeah. during the exam, yeah. that's kind of tough. And here's the pro tip for all of you listeners who are still in school. It actually is like scientifically proven better for you to sleep because your brain will actually retain the information. Yeah. So go to sleep. Oh, yeah. Stop listening to us. Go to sleep. Yeah, no all Wake up for your finals tomorrow. You're going to be fine. I had a cool hallucination in a final exam one time from pulling an all-nighter. Uh, that's a whole other I was going to say, yeah. we can talk about that later. Yeah. We'll talk about that at CrimeCon. Yeah. yeah. Um, Randy said in interviews after Brian disappeared that he remembered feeling like he didn't think Brian should go out with his friends as he had planned later that night because he seemed so tired. But he didn't say anything because, you know, Brian's an adult. Yeah, Which I think well, is fair. Totally. Yeah, sure. But, you know, when you get out there to the bar, you know, the loud music and the booze is a big energizer for me. I don't know about you guys, but yeah. Yeah, it, it, it can going. be. It's, yeah. It's, it's an energizer. At the beginning, yeah. yeah. And, you know, usually at that age, at that age, three years ago, you, uh, <laughs> you have some coffee or, you know, an energy drink or something like that sometimes to help mm. you out a little yeah, bit. Yeah, probably was drinking Red Bulls or something. Yeah. So Brian goes out. Uh, the main friend that he's with is named William Florence, but this guy's nickname is Clint. So we're going to call him Clint. Brian met Clint at the Ugly Tuna Saloon. <laughs> nice name, huh? <laughs> I'm going to call it that every, the full name every single time. Yeah. Um, ugly owners. Yeah. They, I, I think beautiful it's, fish. I think it's tuna phobic. I don't think we should <laughs> use it. Um, well, they met at 9 p.m. that night and then started bar hopping down kind of a main drag street. That's yeah, a college town, right? Yeah. So there's lots of bars. Clint says that at each bar they took a shot then moved on. At about 10 p.m., Alexa says Brian called her because she was visiting her family about a couple hours away before they... Toledo, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which is like a two and a half hour drive from Columbus where okay. they were. Uh, or like outside of where, wherever um, or Ohio State University is. I think actually in the beginning of this, I said it was University of Idaho or of Ohio. Wow, you are oh. just putting <laughs> every state school in Batting the a thousand here. here, man. It's good. Um, anyways, it was actually OSU. So okay. sorry for that okay. earlier. Anyway, Alexa says that about 10 p.m. Brian called her because she, like we said, she was visiting her family mm-hmm. um, just to say that he loved her and, you know, was happy 
he was out and, you know, he would see her. Yeah, it was like an off. hour into the night, I yeah. think, is where I've, I've seen it. So he must have started drinking around 9 o'clock. They were, yeah, uh, they do. They have that timestamp. Clint said they met at 9 p.m. Right. And then they started bar hopping. And, you know, I suspect she was probably thinking, like, I'm going to go to bed soon. And he called her to say goodnight and he loved her and yeah, he was gonna well, be out and, and after and, you know, a, after a drink or two you're you're totally you like, get real lovey hey, babe love uh, you yeah well he love was probably so four or five like hey man he, he was, was probably uh, <laughs> i'm 